Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. Uh, in this example here, we're gonna look to the property of a parallelogram. So first of all, let's see what a parallelogram is. And you see here the definition. Parallelogram is a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. So, so I'm gonna use here some graph paper to show you how to do it. You, you see here the parallelogram by usual that is how to do it, but the graph paper it's a lot easier. Look at here. Okay, so let's say we start with a point like this on A, and you're gonna go like this, and you notice here we have two right and uh, four up, right? So from here I'm gonna go four down and two left. And you see, this is a parallel. And by the way, here you can look through the concept of slope. And you see uh, BC and AD have the same slope, AB and DC have the same slope. But again. Let's go back to this parallelogram. What are the properties of the parallelogram? So obviously, you know this one more time, opposite sides are parallel. So what do we mean by that? A, B, parallel with D, C. B, C, parallel with A, D. So this goes with the uh, definition, which you, I just mentioned. But also, these sides are congruent. A, B congruent with D, C, that is another property, and B, C congruent with A, D. So the sides of a parallelogram are congruent, the opposite sides. What else we have in a parallelogram beside that? Uh, we have what we call the diagonal bisect each other. So these are the diagonal, and <clears throat> these two pieces are congruent, and let me call this one E. So A, E congruent of EC and BE congruent of ED. So the diagonal bisect. Oh, and here these two are congruent. Uh, but what else we have? Uh, let me erase all this stuff here. We have some angles that are congruent these two angles are congruent, and these two angles are congruent. All opposite angles are congruent. Angle A congruent with angle C, and angle B congruent with angle D. All opposite angles are congruent. And we have one more, which is about consecutive angles, like angle A and angle B. And these angles are supplementary. And we can write for relationship. Why? Because we can keep moving. Okay. Oops, 180. I'm sorry, supplementary, not complementary. And obviously, the last one measure of angle D plus the measure of angle A equals 180. So, yeah, the consecutive angles are supplementary. These are the property of the shape you see here, which is called a parallelogram. And again, I will advise you, if you do not remember the property, draw a parallelogram on a graph paper, and it's going to be a lot easier sometimes to see this property. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to click the like button, and come back on C-squared for more help. Thank you.